finally doing this and learning to declutter. I couldn't be more proud of myself and finally learning to let go. This is my very first declutter video. I have a satchel or whatever you want to call this thing full of products that I am letting go of <laughs> and we will get into what is in here now. <laughs> everybody if you're new here hi how are you thanks for stopping by and welcome to the family my name is rose i'm a girl boss on a budget who loves to save money and project pan today's video is my very first declutter video i have finally jumped over that bridge and came to the decision to finally start letting go of products and i've been talking about that i've had some products that i've been holding on to that i have decluttered already and i wasn't sure how to go about filming it if i should put them in their categories and then pull them out again or if i should just show you guys all the products that i've decluttered so far and then i finally just came to the decision so they're not just sitting here anymore that i'm just going to go over the products that i've decluttered sitting here with you guys i'm not i don't know if i'm going to go over every single one of these items just because for the sake of timing but I will go over some of the ones that I feel would be necessary to talk about and explain why I feel that I just no longer need them I have huge numbers in each category and I've been slowly working on my inventory I will have that listed down below and in the cards for you guys my inventory videos if you want to go check it out the further I've been doing my inventory and videos and the daunting task of pulling out all this dang makeup in each category to film these videos has just been such an eye-opening experience to me wanting to bring my collection and my numbers back down to size i am also on a two-year no buy because i have too much makeup and i don't need to be buying any more makeup for a very long time i feel for me two years if not longer do i need to be buying any more makeup also at the same grounds that doesn't give me the right or the justification in my mind to declutter get rid of every single thing so that i have room to bring in more products that's definitely not the case with me i do want to after this video i'm sitting down and sharing with you guys what i have decluttered i will probably do it by category whether it be just like filming and showing you guys the drawers and just pulling out stuff that way let's just go ahead and get into it you guys I will show you the products that I have in this little bag I got this little bag sent to me in, as PR over on my Instagram I'm not really sure who the company is they will be listed down below if you guys are interested in going to check this little bag out it's actually really cute it's a cute little travel bag makeup bag got the drawstring to it it came with a little zipper pouch I'm definitely going to be using this to put my makeup in it's really cute I think it was like 10 bucks or something you can get it on Amazon of course like I said it will be listed down below in the description box for you guys where this actually came from I'm not going in any apparent order i'm just going to straight pull out from the bag and whatever i grab we will kind of go over it but i did pull the palettes out these are some of the palettes that i am decluttering i'm starting with the after hours palette from bad habit this is a dupe for the huda beauty mob obsessions which i own the huda beauty mob obsessions it's actually my 2020 pan that palette if you're interested in checking out my pan that palette videos i will have a playlist list of that in the cards for you guys since i own the original huda beauty i don't need this one so out she goes and then the same with the aphrodite palette this is from bad habit as well i already own the rose gold palette for, from huda beauty which is what this is a dupe of and it's like 
I don't have that type of thinking anymore and why I thought before that I needed to have a dupe version of a product and the, the high end and the product that it was duplicating is beyond me. I don't know why I thought like that. That just goes to show you how bad it got because now <laughs> looking at this stuff, it's like I have two of these and I have the, the palette that this duplicated. So I don't need this one too. It's not to say that any of these are bad products. And I did want to mention to you that nothing is going to get thrown out in the trash. All these products are already rehomed to somebody else and things that are old and beyond exp expiration date is just getting tossed in the trash. But again, there's nothing wrong with this. It's not even to say that it was a bad formula or anything. I just already own the original of this, so I don't need that. The next palette again is the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air. I own Modern Renaissance. That's what this duplicated. So I don't need that. The formula on those isn't too great in my opinion. Opinion. And then I have this Profusion Highlight and Contour Powder. Now I actually did use this a little bit over the summer. Profusion is an extremely affordable brand. This is like a $5 palette, I want to say. The contour shade is actually really nice and neutral. And I used pretty much all of these highlighters. I'm just... I don't need it, you guys. I have so much freaking makeup. I'm trying my hardest to bring my numbers down, if even just a little bit. Then the next product is another like contour palette from Profusion. Profusion is actually a really nice brand. They're affordable, but this is just too dark for me. This is the Contour 2. For more darker skin tones, the two contour shades there, as you can see, they're just extremely dark and it's got these three highlighters for more darker skin complexion. So I definitely will not be using that even on my darkest days in the summer. Next couple of products are just a couple of highlighters. One is from Maybelline, the Master Chrome Molten Peach. Again, this is too dark on me, which is the reason I decluttered it. I maybe used it one time. So it's just not my color. I don't know why I thought I could get a peach one and get away with it. And then this AOA Perfect Highlighter is too yellowy on me. I'm not big on like yellowy golden type of highlighters. I know a lot of people live for it, but I just don't like golden highlighters too well. Unless I have a really nice tan. It's just too yellowy. And then the next product is this Collab Bronzer in the shade Major. It's actually really nice. It's just not my favorite. I just have far too many bronzers but this one it just didn't work out for me you guys next product is my maybelline super stay 24 hour foundation and this is in the shade 130 buff beige i tried this one time it is just way too full coverage on me i don't like to wear super full coverage foundations to where you can feel it you can see it just sitting on your skin and it makes me feel like i'm wearing a mask that's just not the vibe for me that's why i'm getting rid of this way too full coverage i prefer a medium to light coverage foundation i finally decided to declutter and get rid of the no pore problem primer this is just i'm not a fan of silicone based primers i don't really have large pores that need to be filled and they're just too greasy and slippery i did have this in a project pan i want to say go for the goal it was in i just don't like it you guys is another bronzer from Wet n Wild. It's Queensland's bronzer. You know, half of this stuff is stuff that I've bought from YouTubers recommendations, Tati and stuff. And it's just like, I'm not doing that no more, you guys. If I want to buy things after my two year no buy, I'll buy them because I enjoy the product and know the product. No more recommendations from YouTubers or anything like that. Them days are over. And then this is a Hikari Radiant Shimmer Bronzer. I did have actually hit pan in this my niece gave this to me a couple few years ago and I really enjoyed it this is like one of the few that I actually own before my collection got crazy like it is now but I don't use it anymore so I'm getting rid of that 
product that I'm getting rid of is my Maybelline Dream BB Fresh. Just a BB cream, you guys. But I own like five other BB creams and I just, uh, it's too many, you guys. It's just too much. It's too much makeup. And this one doesn't get used. So it's getting up on out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Next product that I'm decluttering is my BH Cosmetics Concealer, Total Coverage Concealer. I own another tube of this. This one is just the wrong shade, so then I end up buying another one. I think I have 102. This is in the shade 104. It is a really nice concealer, and man, it is full coverage. I'm just warning you guys, if you buy this concealer, it is very affordable, but I mean, you just need a little dab and it will blend to your ears this is just far too yellow of an undertone for me so it's not my right shade and the next item is a morphe concealer in the shade honey this is actually really nice concealer this is one of their older before they reformulated it and i actually really enjoy this concealer i have another one of this of course in a lighter shade that is more suiting to me but this one is just too dark it's in the shade honey and then really outside of that, all I have left in here is just like a bunch of lipsticks and stuff, you guys. Single like eyeshadows and metallic lipsticks, a purple lip balm. I'm just not going to use any of these lip products or any of these singles. This I have this lip liner from Maybelline and Dusty. It is Dusty in dusty rose it is dusty you guys <laughs> it's like so dried out it doesn't even produce product anymore so it's gotta go all this stuff is gotta go you guys and it's just a bunch of lip products all of this stuff does have a home it's getting rehomed and i'm very grateful for that go through all the lipsticks in there that's basically the just the gist of what I have so far that I have decided to declutter it is a total of 36 products so far moving forward on my next declutter video I do plan to kind of do it by category I'm thinking and just kind of pulling out category by category on some of the products that I feel are no longer serving me in my collection and are just no longer bringing me joy I'm not holding Holding on to things anymore just for the sake of holding on to products thinking that I will someday get to it it's just it's not realistic and it's wasteful to me and it's a shame because the makeup isn't gonna get used here so I feel that it would have a better chance if I rehome it or if I donate it I'm going to try my hardest to make sure that nothing just gets thrown in the trash unless it is absolutely expired and I don't feel safe rehoming it or 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 even donating it to somebody I'm just not gonna hold on to things for the sake of holding on to them thinking I'm gonna pan them or thinking I'm gonna use them someday because it just that day never comes unfortunately that is everything for this video you guys <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until my next video everybody enjoy the rest of their day bye